Right, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Game Hunter, and welcome to part four of our Xenoblade Chronicles 2 playthrough. Here we are back with the Aegis, and we're the driver with our little Gramps sat in the back of our helmet. You remember the last episode we got to Taragoth, and then we got help from a little Nompon. And now we've got to go out and try and find out where our other friend has been taken, near. So, without further ado, let's go. As you can see, we've got a few mission quests on the camp campus, on the compass at the top. So, let's go out and see what we can find. Right, so we're on really lower levels. Oh, look at that. Beautiful surroundings, that. Uh, something that's 50 meters up so let's go quite confusing right right 21 meters up that means it's up there somewhere isn't it Right, let's see if we can get through here. Eight. Shit. Oh, there we go. They say it's Chief's residence. Right, so this is one of them that we need to talk to. <coughs> Excuse me. Someone called Sulya. Have you heard anything about a girl called Nia, who was captured by the Adranians recently? Forget about that, did you know this? Apparently, whenever a new blade is born, it has to be registered with the Praetorium of Undo. Wow, that's really interesting. Yeah, so I bet that guy who just got scouted to be a driver will have to go there sooner or later. When I grow up, I want to become a driver visiting Doll 2. Okay, so... She didn't have a clue. Ooh. Up. Up. <laughs> right, let's have a quick look around here. Then we'll have a quick chat with Edgar. Can we go in here? No, we can't. Right, Mr. Edgar, what do you want? Well, what I've... We here. Been a while since I last saw drivers and blade do out in the Imperial Army. Tell you what, I'll give you a little tip for free. A driver's element is determined by the blade they happen to be using. So if you're using a wind element blade, your attacks are going to be wind element as well. And certain elements are opposed to each other as well. For instance, if you use a fire element blade to attack a water element monster, you'll do more damage. Switching between blades based on this enemy you're facing is a proper, uh, pretty important tactic. Thank you so much. Okay, so that's... Oh, we've got somebody here. Bori, what have you got? Have you heard of a thing about a girl called Nia who was captured by the Adranians recently? Oh yeah, I heard something interesting. Apparently the Tarna member that the Adranian Empire captured was some Gamotti girl called Nia. Nia. That day seems familiar somehow. Didn't the old Lord of the Shell a decade or so ago have... Actually, let's not talk about that. It's not a happy thing to think about. Thank you so much. So we've got the name of the Tarnan. I'm guessing that's not what we need. Right, there's definitely a few more in these areas. Here's another one. Ellis, what have you got for us, love? Have you heard anything about a girl called Nia? Ah, sorry, I'm only really interested in plants. I don't keep up with the latest rumours. I want to become a botanist in Mardane, but my parents keep saying it's too dangerous. It's been a whole decade now since Mardane and Araya ceased hostilities. And sure, there's been this nasty group called Tana popping up in the news lately, but still... It's not like anything bad's going to happen where Bardane's in charge. Doesn't this peaceful town prove that? Hmm. Let's 
see if there's anything up here. Ooh. Shout out to Toto. <laughs> Let's see what he's got. Shatoto, make a big mistake coming to Gormot. Is something wrong? Shatoto uh, came from uh, Agentum to do business in Gormot, but selling goods in this city only earned tiny profits. At times like this, Shatoto, remember what Mamapon say lots. Always thinking about supplies and demands. Products of Shatoto not attractive to Gormot and more Dane peoples here in Toragoth. But Shatoto not have money to go back to Agentum, oh dear. Oh, bless him. There's something lower down as well. So, 52 metres down. Right, so there's a ladder going down over there, so that would probably be the best way to go. Right, 39. Oh, and then we've got a side quest as well to pick up. Anything else around here we should be looking out for? Oh, yes. What are we here? here? I don't know. Shepherd's purse. Nice. Right, so let's go. Oh, Marion's got something to tell us. I moved my family here for more ordained because I heard it was a really safe place to live. A fight between those Torna terrorists and more ordained's finest blade is exactly not what I signed up for. I just want my wife and daughter to have a peaceful life, but at this rate, it seems this isn't it. That's not good. I hope all this gets sorted out sooner rather than later. It feels like the whole city's on edge. Oh, that's not good at all. So we found the Grod Residation Zone, right. Hannah Hannah. No little thing wants to chat with us. Anna Hannah, come to this city on vocation. It's very nice and lively place. Anna Hannah also see a beautiful scene on the way to here. Driver was lending hand to other driver who fell down getting them back on feet. If Conrad fall in battle, lend helping hand to help recover. Such beautiful bond of friendship. More pretty pretty than prettiest arty pictures. So they just like give you like little bits of advice as you go along. Let's see what's along here, shall we? Probably nothing, but... We've got to one of them zones where we can dip down and see if we can find something. But we're not going to do that yet. So there's a side quest to pick up here. A treasure trove, can we open it? Treasure acquired. No, because we haven't got super strength or we haven't got no pawn wisdom. Right. Aha, here's a side quest. Tawania. Oh. Why, if it isn't a driver, just who I was hoping to see? Is something wrong? Well, you see, I've got loads of fruit now, thanks to this bumper harvest. I just, just figured I'd use it to make my famous fruit pie. Everyone gets a slice. <laughs> I didn't mean to brag, but everyone who tries my pie says it's something special. <laughs> Pet the do. <coughs> Calm down. Yes, ask anyone. Tawana's pie, the tastiest in all of Toronto. <laughs> she just keeps saying it, doesn't she? My husband nearly bursts his britches suffering himself when I make it. <laughs> it was because of my pies that he wanted to mind me, he said. Right. Oh, I'm sorry, I got a little bit carried away blowing my own trumpet there. <laughs> so the problem is I'm actually a bit short on some of the things I need for my pie. The traders around here are hopeless for ingredients, so I was hoping some kind person would get them for me. Rex, shall we get to work on this right away? With you by my side, Pyra, I'm up for any challenge. That's very kind of you. 
Could you get me a nice bit of hustle hyacinth and some mint fish? It's just not the same without those special ingredients. Fish, fresh and fruity. So we've got four of seven of the fish. And two of four of the hustle hyacinth. So where do we need to go uh, back out onto the main... Let's have a look at the map. back out in the main streets. Let's see what Padron's got to tell us. Yeehaw! That's got to leave a bruise. The worst part about being ahead of a security is having to report to my boss. He's such a jerk. In fact, you better not distract me or I'll get an earful again. We've got to keep on the lookout for this blade with a green car crystal. <laughs> You're just standing right next to him, mate. Oh, somebody else over here. My bong. Wants a chat as well. I wonder what it'll be for dinner tonight. Ho ho, as if I don't know the answer. Really? I live together with my blade partner, you see, and she always serves up the same thing every night. I can't complain, though. Decades I've been eating them, and I still haven't got sick of them. They're that good. How long is your happy, mate? There's something written here in small letters. Oh, only keen eye and ancient wisdom for that one. We've got sign. And arrived. Oh, <laughs> one. Did Rex Rex know they're recruiting over there for new drivers? Yeah, I saw that early when we first arrived in the city. Rex Rex should try too. Chance success, basically 100%. I've wanted by the Adanian Empire right now, remember. Seems like a bad idea to make myself conspicuous. Rex Rex made a good point. Exactly. Tor was just too curious to see what kind of blade Rex Rex awakened. At any rate, I don't need to awaken a blade, do I? I've already got Pyra. Come now, Rex, don't tell me you thought drivers could only bond with a single blade. What, is that not right? Not at all. Many drivers have more than one. With Daya gone, we're a bit short on numbers right now. We might not hold up all that well in a fight. Perhaps it would be actually a good idea to get yourself a new blade. A new blade opens up new possibilities in battle, after all. Hmm. It will stop you from putting so much strain on Pyra as well. Seems like a good thing all round, if you ask me. Well, if Pyra doesn't mind, I guess I couldn't hurt to try. I don't have any objections for more than Maria. Then it's settled. The question is, where are we going to get ourselves a core crystal? Now, that's one question I can answer. I happen to have one stored away for such a special occasion. Where Gramps hide core crystal with more small body. The key to awakening a new blade is to foster a powerful renaissance with a driver's spirit. Focus your whole mind on the core crystal as you touch it. And try to hold a clear picture in your mind of a blade you wish to awaken. I'm not sure I really understand, but I'll give it a try. Hope you awaken a wonderful blade. Okay, so I'm guessing we've got it. Making another blade, so Rex select the name car crystal. Do you want to run out of this car crystal? Yes, we'll view it this time because we haven't seen it here before, so yes. Mm, so pretty.
Nice. Don't worry. I'm ready to do my part. Okay. So he looks like he's the wind. Nice. Rex's ability to renegotiate with Corkles has been unlocked. You can bond with a blade at any time by going to the main menu. Blades, bond blade. Corkles aren't much use just lying around, so you could have to resonate with them to see what you get. Also, the higher a driver's look state value, the better their chance of awakening a certain very special blade. Once you have yourself a new blade, you'll need to engage it so it can be taken part in battle. Add blades to your battle party in the main menu, characters, characters up and engage blades. Up until now, Rex has only land power alone for support in battle, but now you'll be able to expand to engage a variety of other blades and expand your support options. Take advantage of the different blades in battle. Press the directional button to correspond to each blade's face icon and perform a blade switch. In no time at all, the blade that was previously supporting you will retreat and a new blade will take their place in the battlefield. Of course, Witcher Blade will change both your weapon and your available arts. Different weapons have different benefits and drawbacks in battle, so use blade switches tactically after considering the current situation. That looks like a good one. Meh, meh. Fair always stand on end whenever Torsi drives out with crystal. So cool. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're making me feel weird. Well, looks like we've got a new recruit. Anyway, let's go and find out what happened to Nia. Rex, not so fast. Eh, huh, what's up? Aren't you going to kick your new blade out? You can chew up the weapon with a core chip from that smithy there. If Rex Rex never used his core chip before, then now they a good time to start. You can really tell the difference between a driver who uses core chips and one who doesn't. I'm starting to understand. Now for the main topic, take over here is a Knox car shop. I don't suppose you've had a lot of car going there before you, before you came a driver. You're right about that. I used to wonder what all the strange gear was for though. Perhaps we should head over and give it a try then. Ox cars are just the thing for supplementing the blade's power. There are different types, some boost defence, some make strong against insects or stronger at night time, meh. The number of ox cores you can equip varies from blade to blade bind. Interesting stuff. Now, this is the important part, so listen up. Usually when you get an ox core, it's in an empty state, you won't boost your blade with it empty. Okay, so how do you fix that then? Oh, uh, I see. So this gizmo here makes ox cores unusable. You catch on fast. That's right, this machine takes collectibles and raw ox cores and refines them into something useful. Here's one you can have a go with, I've been saving it up for this very occasion. Right, Rex Rex, best not to think about where he stashes it. Yes, Taurus, right about that, it's not much good without collectibles though, here. Some deer wood. Meh meh, really have a lot stashed away. <laughs> You're good to go Rex, let me find it. Got it. And as soon as we're done, let's go that look for some info about near. Right, so wanna open that one. Uh, what have we got? So we've got a few of these. Got some good binding loops. Okay. And there we go. Can we fit a little bit up? So we've got our critical up. Since you're standing in front of the Oxcore shop, let's revisit the topic of Oxcore for a moment. At shops like these, you get your Oxcores refined. You'll need collectible items to refine Oxcores. The number of collectible items you need is defined individually for each ox core. Once you've all the collectibles you need, you can head to the shop to get your ox core refined. But watch out, the higher the value of the ox core, the more difficulty is likely to be to find all of the necessary items. 
If you want to be able to refine your scores, as soon as you get them, you'll need to be always be on the lookout for collection points on your travels. Hot scores can be equipped to blades in main menu. Righty ho. So let's have a look at that then. So characters. Set blades you want to travel with. There he goes. Uh, can we put... Have we got anything to... No. Uh-huh, we have on that one, we can do our sword bash and go up to level 3. Right, modifies weapon with car chips. I thought we had a car chip. I'm guessing we don't. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Nice. So that's got level 2 up. Right, so... You're all mine! Oh, no. So we have got some more crystals if we want to brew some more drivers, which we will do eventually. Uh, so how do we get the map up? No. Another side quest there as well. We'll definitely need to keep out of the way of these because I think yeah, there he is, level 81. <laughs> Alright, so these we need to... Come out, out, come out! Come out, come out, wherever you are. So we need to be lucky for some... This, this can't, can't be good! good. Out, out, out of juice. juice! Where the hell? Jesus. Please don't tell me we start right back over there again. It's fine, we'll, we'll get them yet. yet. Don't, don't push, push yourself, yourself too hard. hard. So I told you we got hit by that bloody big monkey, or gorilla, whatever his name was. Right, what's this? Come, come out, out, come out! out. Shepherd's purse. Come out, come out. Come out, come out. So I've got no idea. Whereabouts you think you just gotta guess where they are. What are we here? Yeah. Wood. Oh, good God. So where did he come? I thought he was sat round there. No! no. We lost, lost the other hand! hand. Yeah! Ha! Ha! Damn! It's 
found us. Let's keep this up and we'll win for sure. I like you. New enemy in the mix. Oh, you've got to be joking me. Where the juice? <sighs> it's fine, we'll get them yet. Oh, God, Don't on. push yourself too hard. So there's no marker whereabouts you actually go to find all these flipping things. So it's a question of just going around and hoping that you find it. Must be around here somewhere. Come out, come, come out. out. When, when did it get, get so, so late? late? Oh, and, and I've, I've started, started glowing. glowing. I'm, I'm a bit self-conscious. Self right, so we've got another side quest over there, which we'll get to. Uh huh. We've got a river. And a ride. <laughs> All in one piece. Come, come out, come out. out. Oh, good God. Another level 75. Don't really got his bad side either, do you? Right, so I'm guessing the fish is going to be in here. No! We lost, lost the upper hand! Ha! Let's keep this up and we'll win for sure. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Right, come on. Come on. Watch, Watch this. this. If they seek a fight, fight, they shall get one. Ow! Ow. 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 Much obliged. Let's keep this up and we'll win for sure. I like your attitude. <laughs> I like your attitude. Right. Oh, we still need one more. Come out, come out. Watch, Watch this. this. Ooh, more fish. Three crab. Mint fish, there we go. So we've got the mint fish now. Treasure acquired. What have we got? Coins. Now we just need some of that hyacinth. Come, come out, come out. Come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Don't even know what it looks like. What's hiding in the waterfall? What are here? Hustle Hyacinth, there we go. So I just need one more. He's level 26. Found another location. Come out, come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Cranberries, cranberries. What are we here? I don't know. Wood. Oh, 
And we've got another salvage point. What are we here? here? Panda. Shepherds. Panda Pansy. Sheep. Another collection point over there. So I think there's no exact point. You just gotta go around and find all these collection points just hope that one of them turns out to be what you bloody need. Oh no wood. Maybe we found out one close to the water, maybe we'll find this. Mint fish, steel salmon. Alright, we need to keep going then. Level 10. Gotta be around here somewhere. Hmm. Level forty. Oh no! Not falling for that trap again. Level ten. Level twenties. Come out, come, come out. out, come out, wherever you are, Cranberry, Shepherd's Purse, the Cape Sing Breeze, well at least we are opening up the map if nothing else. <laughs> Just can't seem to... Let's see what he can do, Mr. Wind in the Willows. Quite a big map, this. Quite a big area. Come, come out, come out. out. A treasure trove. You're all You're mine. mine. You're all mine. Come out, come out, wherever you are. This is where we first came in. What are we here? here? I think it is, you know. Come out, come, come, come out. Come on. Watch, Watch this. this. Mint fish coming out of our ears. I don't need loads of mint fish then. Yeah, so I think that's where we first came in. Oh, 
can't believe that. Oh, that for one. <laughs> one higher, so come on. What over here? here? Armored centipede, jet snake. It's sort of give you like a sensible like little thing where What over here? Where we could bite to find it. Forest stone. Okay, we're running into another side quest. Me, 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 me. Somebody help. Snooze wolf trying to eat me. Are you okay? I'd like to help if that's okay. Friends wanting to help. Yeah. Thank him friends and please defeat Snooze Wolf and protect my cargo. Cargo contains important stuff, me counting on friends' help. Leave it with me. Knocked about Napong. Right, let's see. No! no. We lost, we lost the, the upper hand! hand. Right. Right. Why, Why not? not? We make a good, good team! team. I like, I, like your <laughs> I like your yeah. attitude. Ha! We make a good team. My goal is exactly. Fire the push. Ha! Nice. There you go, my friend. Everything should be fine now. Meh, meh. Bear was afraid for life for a moment. Thank you for your help, friends. Be really glad nothing bad happened to Cargo. Let's hear the details. My friend's curious about Cargo. It's full of puffo foundation and tree sap conditioner and so on. Me was in the middle of carrying special garment make cosmetics to Telegoth. Oh, I see. If friends not by passing by, all goods get eaten by monsters. Ah, as a thanks, here, me give you some samples on the sly. Actually, Tunini just not have anything else to give friends right now. Thanks. No, no, thank you for the help. There we go then. Nice simple one for a change. So we've got some tree sap conditioner and two puffered puff foundations whatever that is right what the hell oh god no fight the, the foes that, that one we could do it because I'm off Come, come out, come out! <laughs> Please. Panda, panda. Sunflower rogue. We could give you a clue where to find uh, them. Uh, uh, come out, come out! Come out. Right, it looks like some of the stuff's come back, so if I head towards... That waterfall again. Hopefully that'll give me the next last piece that I need. Through here, won't it? I think it was on the other side of this. Come out, come out! Come out, come out! Come out, come out. <laughs> I like the way they just talk. I like your attitude. Right, here we go, please. All I want is one hyacinth. What over here? here? Yes. 
Lovely stuff. Right. So now I should be able to make our way back. Yeah, let's make our way back to the map fountain. We're here. Shall we? <laughs> Well, let's have a quick talk to Kiara. Hi there. Hey, you heard of Tower Gonda? Well, it's the instrument I'm playing right now. I'm up every night practicing, but I'm still not good enough. If Uzgomoti love music, after all, I won't be a proper adult until I can pull off a flawless performance. Oh, bless her. Right, let's head back. To the lady, I think she's over here. It's, it's a, a new, new day, day everyone. It's a new day. Up where we left off. <laughs> it's a new day, everyone. <laughs> there we go. Hello, did you get those ingredients yet? Here you go. Oh, thank you so very much. Thanks to you, I'll be able to make my incredible pie. Well, I would have been able to if my stove hadn't broken down. I've got this custom-made stove at home, you see. It's a real devil to fix when it breaks. And it's always breaking down. My husband's usually the one who sorts it out for me. It's one of those funny old machines which needs a tender touch. It reminds me of why I married him. Yes, actually, he's not just good with stoves. One time, this really nasty bunnet came into town and he... Oh, look at me. I'm getting carried away chatting again. Now, what was I talking about? Oh yes, getting that funny old stove fixed. My husband's out cutting wood, and I don't know when he'll be back, so I'm not sure how to get the stove fixed. You aren't any good at fixing stoves, are you? Hmm, this is awkward, but what should we do? Ah, I've had a brainwave. Why don't you let, why don't you lot go and find the craftsman who built our stove and bring him here? His name's Glid, you'll find him at Togeth Market, I bet. I'm so sorry to keep asking you to do me all these favours, but could you go and get them for me? Leave it with me. Oh, thank you so very much. I'll give you something really nice if you take care of this. Right. So we need to... Quests. Let's put that one back on again. So we've got to go back to the market. At least I'm going to go searching for flipping goods again. Because I've got no idea where they are. So we've got a load of them for the main quest line, that's CN, and we've got that guy there. Botty. He's with the craftsmen over here, and we've got Dord there. So we've got two here. Crap. I think I dropped down and I need to be back up. Because these are side quests around here, I think. Right, let's try this again. So, up here. Tell him I didn't even need to go down there. Right. Ah, here we are. Glenn, hello, mate. Just where I'm in need. Hi there. Oh, what's up? Got a bit of a job for me, have you? So, the thing is, oh I see, Tawaina needs your uh, stove sorted out again, to see, well I'm your man. The cost of the work will be about 3,000 G I'd say. I'll need payment up front though, I'm a bit of a stickler for that. It's my wife you see, she goes bananas when I give people credit. Honestly I'm more scared of getting it in the ear from her than this bloody titan falling down. So if you don't mind, I need payment first for the sake of my sanity. 
Although maybe there is one way I could do it for nothing. Let's hear the details. There's something I want to give to my wife, you see. She's pretty fierce, but she does right by me, she does. So I wanted to get her this nifty little thing called a chain of keys. They don't sell any round here, though. Maybe you salvages could fish out one, one up from somewhere. That's the sort of thing you do, isn't it? Yes, get me a chain of keys and I'll quit, call it quits on fixing the stove. I'll be happy with the cash if you can't find one, though. Either way, I'm a happy chappy. Let me know when you've got what you've got it sorted. Roger. Right, so. Pay the repair fees or find a chain of keys. So, we might need some of these. Welcome, looking for a salvage survival gear. Yes, we are. Jesus, two grand for one of them. Flipping cheap and pay him the three grand, I think. But anyway, we'll give it a go. So I think there's a salvage spot down here. Yes, here we are. So it's a look of a draw with these, though, isn't it? So let's go with a silver decider. Not going to be easy, though. Oh, I can't, I can't wait! wait. Yo! Ta! Onwards! Shit. No, I think gonna get anything for that one. I'm back! Miss me! Ha! Oh, we've got a baddie to kill, though. It must have sensed our skill. <laughs> must have sensed our skill. Right. I like your attitude. Nice. You're all mine. A burning prison. A lost glyph plate. So still not a key of change yet. Yeah? You're all mine. Chain of keys, there we go. First time of asking, lovely. Oh, Maury wants another chat with us. Have you heard anything about a girl called Nia? Who was Captain Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I've heard some interesting blah blah blah. So it's the same repeating itself, right. So hopefully we'll get this completed now. Bloody nuisance. Right, Glenn, my friend, have I got a chain of keys for you? Oh, thank you ever so much. That's really a big help to me. I've never been able to get something like this with a little bit of money with a wife lets me spend. I'll head over to Twana's and get her so fixed then. I'll be right as rain in no time. Right, so now we're going to go back and say goodbye. Hopefully this will be it for her. my friend have you got it sorted oh there you are the repairs are all done and dusted now do it right fast and cheap that's my motto it doesn't rhyme or anything but it's still a good motto oh hello there driver thanks for helping me out so much looks like everything worked out he's fixed up that stove so well you'd think it was brand new oh it makes me think of a day my husband brought it home it does nice to think that this stove is still going strong like our marriage well, my husband's going to be home soon, so I'd best get cracking on his pie. It's a family secret, this pie, you know, passed down through the generations. 
Oh, there I go again. Once I start talking, I can't stop. I said I'd give you a little something for going to all that trouble, didn't I? I don't think I'll be, it'll be enough just to let you have a slice of pie. <laughs> so I'll give you the recipe. Now you'll be able to make my fancy pie any time you like. It's not easy, mind. Thank you very much. Thank you. So there we go, fresh and fruity. 54 SP, 500, 380, and I've got a recipe as well, so we can't go for that, can you? Right. So, quests. Put that one back on for now. So let's have a quick. Oh no, I don't think that's the right one. It is. So we've got one side quest that I'm seeing, which is that one outside with the lumberjacks. So we might go along there as well as we go. But we might as well just talk to some of these. Oh god, there's somebody on the lower floor again. Let's pop down here. The Grand Residential Discern. And he's still below. How could it be below again? Oh, he's down there, I see. Lupe, what you got for his loop? Have you heard a thing about a girl called Nia? Oh yeah, I heard about that. Some Ardanian dude was saying they were going to execute the prisoner within the next few days. Those Tarna guys are pretty bad, right? I heard they killed loads of drivers to steal their car crystals. Pretty amazing if the Empire have really captured one of them. The Empire's so cool. Hmm. I wonder what they'll do with it to do well yeah, I wonder what they'll do at this execution thing. Anyway, I've never seen one before. I've gotta go see for myself. You guys should come along too. Thanks. So we've got rumours of an execution. I think that's everything. So let's go back up this way. Then we're all up here now. All back in the marketplace. Right, Sian, here we are, love. What you got for us? I've heard of anything about a girl called Nia. I don't know anything about that, but the grown-ups do seem to be talking about secret complicated stuff a lot lately. Apparently there are some kind of dangerous people causing trouble. It's only been ten years since the war between Maul Ardain and Uriah ended. Why would they stir up more trouble? It sounds like a real pain. I hope the Ardain soldiers will be able to protect us. Hmm. See that there's a guy over behind here as well. Taruni, what you got for us, mate? Have you heard anything about a girl called Nia? Taruni know this, of course, but Taruni's informant by trade cannot provide information without proper compensation. <sighs> 2,700? Oh, come on. Right. Thanks so much for custom. Inside Titan Battleship, Garbotti Girl been held prisoner. Unfortunately, Taruni not yet received intelligence to find prisoner name. But rumours say big ship arrived for sole purpose of holding one messy girl, measly girl. People of Garmot are getting along quite well with Empire nowadays, so trouble like this is not very welcome. That seemed to be opinion of most of Togaf residents. That'll be that about the extent of information to any know. Enough to satisfy friends? Thanks. Oh, well, there we go. They would have to talk to the other ones. Right, so before... Let's have a look, see if we've got anything we can sell. I 
I don't know what that means. Let's go. We'll keep all the collectibles because we might need them. Core crystals, pouch items, so it gives you 50% profanity, 75%. 50% max HP, so these are all like things that we can put on. Rage boost. And we've got all these that we might not need. So let's get rid of some of these, shall we? If the blue means not very good, we'll keep the rest. And we've got the cylinders. These are treasures, so I'm guessing we don't need the treasures, do we? So. Right, so before we head back that way, let's go and see what this guy, the lumberjack, wants. Hello, Ewan. What you got for us, Sonny? So you did this. You're the one that broke that crane. Er, uh, no. Oh, you didn't do it. Well, gee, sorry about the accusation. Is something wrong? Oh, curious, are you? That's our big important helper, that crane, but right now the wire's out, so it's just taking up space. At first, I thought it just snapped from regular wear and tear, but actually it keeps breaking. I fixed it once, I fixed it again. No use come morning, it's broken again. The number of times it's happened, it's hard to see as it's an is it as an accident. Truth to be told, I suspect foul play. Hmm, this is awkward. What should we do? We've got to make up for the work we lose with the wire being broken, but... Well, without the crane, we're not making much headway. What's a guy to do? I'd like to help if that's okay. What, really? Wow, you're a lifesaver. Okay, well, there's two things you can do for me. First, help us fix the crane so we can use it again. Nathias, the caring operator, is in charge of that part. You should ask him for details. Roger. The other thing is, finding the weasel who keeps messing with the wire and bringing them to justice. You're on your own there, though. Although Petal, our apprentice, is pretty keen on finding the criminal, so maybe you can ask him. Oh, I see. You can find both of them by the crane, just follow the outside wall, you can't miss it. Alright, well I'm counting on you. The case of the crane. Nice. So, I think we'll put by that too. So, one of them is over here. Oh, here's Petal. Hi there. Oh, did Owen send you over to assist by me? I'm counting on you. What you we need is information about the criminal who cut the worker's wire. Roger. To solve a crime, first pound the payment. Get the down low from the town's folks. Why not listen up to the fiddle faddle? Uh, I mean, the piddle paddle. <laughs> no. Uh, anyway, people gossip a lot, so why don't you ask around? I'll do what I can. Yeah, make sure you don't miss anything. Right, so, I won't put that as active yet. So that's... Need to go back up. Or do I? Yeah, because he's up there. So I need to go back into the town. Oh! <laughs> Right, so we've got to go round the back way, I think. He'll be over here. They don't need to talk to him. Right, Nafius, what you got for a son? Yo, I'd like to help if that's okay. Oh, did the chief send you over? You're going to help us fix the crane, are you? Yeah, look here. That fat wire there wouldn't break from one blow. Really? Lots of cuts uneven. I don't get why. Who benefits from the work getting delayed? Whatever. I'll leave finding the culprit to you. Roger. In the meantime, I need your help with materials for stringing the belt wire back up. Five winding gears. You can find them easy enough by salvaging around Gormor. Leave it to me. Good answer. Thanks in advance. Oh great, so now we've got to go on the hunt looking for gears now. 
wind winding gear, winding gear. And whereabouts are we gonna find them, I wonder? When did when it get, get so, so late? late? We best, we best trade, trade carefully, carefully in this, this hour. hour. There's another one where we've just got to go around with the legs. Come out, come out! Come out, come out! I'm guessing everything around here could have been Come out, come out! The best thing to go inland a bit then, isn't it? What are we here? here? Fruit. Seventy one. Oh, God, no. You're all level seventies. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Teams. And arrived. Victory! <laughs> come out, come out. Watch this. No fish again. Seeing anything where we can find, oh god, level 41. Level 43. Come on, quick. What are we here? here? Fish again, isn't it? Okay, okay, bring it, it on. on. 
Another one more quick look over here and we're starting our way back up again. Come, come out, out, come out! out. Watch, Watch this. this! Not fish again. Simple, we've got to go around and talk to certain people. Right, here we go. How can we get up there then? Oh, wait a minute. So the thing is, you're looking for info on anyone suspicious. I'll have you know, I take guard you very seriously. If I'd have seen anything done toward, I'd have reported it. Have you heard anything interesting lately? Well, now that you mention it, the other night a unit returning from patrol found itself under attack from unknown assailants. Thankfully, they came out of it with a few, only a few scratches. But whoever the attackers were, they seemed to be quite the skilled marksmen. Oh, I see. Thanks to the efforts of Bora Day and Gorma, it's largely peaceful. That was the only disturbance I could recall. Right. Oh! Alright, what else have we got? down. Right, so it's saying it's up there, but how do you get up there? Seen. A ruby here, a ruby there. Wellbird loves gossip every which way. So the thing is, 
looking for info about whoever destroyed Ukraine, are you? Well, of course, I've heard a thing or two. I heard some driver say they saw two suspicious shadows by the tree on the outskirts of town. Oh, I see. You think it might have been criminal scooping the place out? No way. I don't want to think about that. The worst scary enough place for a girl like me. Right. So that's that one. So it's over here, and I'll go back up. Right, so if we go up. Make our way over here. Can I do? There's got to be across here somewhere. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, we've got another treasure over here. Can we get it? You're all mine! Yes, we can. Justice booster. Compassion booster. Nice. Oh, we've got hiding up here anyway. Not a lot. More Dane Codslow. So it's definitely through here, then. And arrived. Go with Victory! Gone. Victory! Right, Crawl, what have you got? Did you know that there are special enemies called unique monsters? They're supposed to be absurdly powerful, far stronger than your average monster. If you pick a fight with one of them unprepared, there'll be curtains for you. I've heard some grisly tales. Eh, there, thought, shudder. Don't you go charging without knowing what you're getting yourself into first, do you hear? Roger. Yeah, we've already saw them monsters, haven't we, so... So this is another area. Oh, and he's got a side quest, another side quest for us. Oh, is that the guy we need to speak to? <laughs> Poyo Yupa Poyo. So the thing is... Mm-hmm, Fred's investigated about the crane, eh? Me only here I must rumor, so maybe not much help, but me tell anyway. Basically, me here I move banners, saying the sea pisky turkey somewhere. Really? But if, that, if said turkey get into town, that start big commotion. Me no hear any big commotion, so there's probably no connection. Right, so we've got to go... Up! Let's have a quick look round first, then, because I don't know what we might be missing. Collection point... Come out, come out! Come out, come out! What have we got? Meaty cats. Oh, we've got another collection point. Let's see what's going on underground. Right, so we need to. Go outside. No, that's not right. Right, so it's over there where we need to be. So we head over to the way tree and make our way from there. Shall we? We're here. 
Well, watch out for the big gorillas. Oh god, there he is. Don't want to get on the bad side of that guy. What are we here? here? Still looking for these winding gears. It's a new day, everyone! Let's pick up where we left off! <laughs> Found another location. Jesus, how big is this place? Oh dear. Oh. No! no, we lost, we lost the, the upper hand. hand. My, my boy, boy. It's, it's not, not my, my fault, fault if you fall out like during battle, battle yeah? yeah? Where the hell are we supposed to be going? I thought it was around here somewhere. Despite in a giant tree, close to Toga, head over and check it out. You're all mine. Oh, we've got the treasure anyway. Come, come out, come, come out. out. Where about further then? No, oh, well, that's weird. It just said it was around here. No! We lost, we lost the upper hand! What about here? here? A boob bee banana.
can't believe he's just disappeared. Right, so this is where we was, wasn't it? Unless we've got to keep going up. Just to say, there's nothing there, is it? Let's see what's hiding up further up the road. What the hell are we going up here? And arrived! Oh, one piece. What are we here? <laughs> so just keep finding new places to explore. Oh, another treasure. Treasure quiet. Quiet. Well, let's just see what Otto's got for us. Hi there. My name's Otto and I'm the foreman here at Nockalili Timber Site. If we fe we fell the trees here and transport the timber over to Sussex Limbico in Torigoth for processing, then they can be used to make furniture, musical instruments, you name it. A lot of it also gets exported to Borodain or Gentum. Gabotti Woods are quality stuff seeds sought after all over all rest. Nice. That still doesn't help us with our quest though, does it? What are we here? here? So still no winding gears. Still don't know where this is. It popped up on about saying it was in the trees and then as we got close it just disappeared. So I'm guessing it's around here somewhere. Just can't seem to find it. Oh. No! no! We, lost we lost the upper hand! hand. We need to probably concentrate on the main quest and get some more people in there. Anchor shot! Why not? Sword bash! Ow! Double spinning edge! Now, let's show them what we're really made of. We'll beat them with the power of friendship. The power of friendship. <laughs> What a lad. Right, so what we'll do then, I think we'll end this episode here, but I will be looking up for the winding gears and finding out where the hell that thing is there. Can't believe it, it was on the map and then it just disappeared. And then we'll probably go around and get the main mission done as well next time because then I think we'll get near back and then that'll make fire. Come on, easier. come on. Please just look me on our own. It's quite difficult. Then we need to level up as well. And the only way we can do that is go to the inn. So that's a good idea. Let's go to the inn, see if we can level up a bit. Wait a minute. I think that's the tree ahead of us. 
Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We're gonna level up. This is in here. Needs a place to feel at one day. Time to rest for those weary legs, I think. Yeah, we'll have a short rest. Cad level up. Nice. So we can get to level 12. See, Gloves? I'm getting better. Nice. Morning, Rex. Did you sleep okay? Ugh, I, slept I slept like a baby. I slept like a baby. Right, I just want to quickly see if I can do this quest now, because I think I've just spotted where the tree is. It's that one over there. are surrounded by wolves, of course they are. Come out, come out! So let's see if there's anything we can do to upgrade. We've got any peas? Certainly not enough to do that one, or any of that. Use SP to enhance your skills. That may be six two eight. That one's increased to fifty. Nice one. So that's unlocked. What have we got on this one? Whew, fifteen hundred. Can't do any of these then. So 750, 625, 500. So, yeah, that's as far as we're going on them, I think. From power of accessories. Let's see if we can probably change some of this. That increases, uh, don't do, do, no, oh it does, our luck goes up to 75, but our strength goes down to 81, so we'll keep that as it is for now, and Pyro, what have you got? So that's improved that a bit more. Oh, she's got a few added. That's what you get if you keep it. got a key affinity rewarded. New skills may be unlocked. Call on me anytime. Right, so what has she got then? Fire and mastery, focus. And so the fire and mastery is improved as well. Nice. That's unlocked. And My strength grows by the day. Nice. Yeah, I thought that was it. 
Oh well, guess I won't. Ooh, another treasure chest over here, so quickly get that. Come out, come out! Right, treasure trove. Treasure acquired! Nice. Right, so. There we go. So we're going to leave the episode here, guys. I'd like to thank everybody that's watched this episode. I'm sorry it's been a bit all over here, there and everywhere, but we'll get there eventually. Like I say, next episode, I'll make sure... I look up and we could find out where these places are and stuff and then be able to crack on and then do the main quest as well hopefully get Nia back in the squad which will make our life a lot easier when it comes to the fights so yes but that's it for this week guys I hope to see you all again next week as we do some more parts of Star Wars and Xenoblade etc etc but that's it from me guys so be safe and I will talk to you all again next week. Bye for now, guys. Bye-bye.